Welcome back. So what I want to show you today are some energy management techniques, exercises um, that you can do yourself or share with your child to just help you stay grounded, focused, calm and resilient. So most of these are from um, this book, Energy Medicine by Donna Eden. I can't recommend this book enough. It has so much information in it. So definitely check that out. And um, I'll make sure I put in the this week's lesson um, a link to her website. She's got so much stuff on available. Before you do any kind of energy exercise, it's always good to take a nice big drink of water. That um, tells your body to get ready to get that energy flowing the way it needs to flow so that you can really be joyful and grounded. All right, first one I like to start off with is um, the, it's called the four thumps. And you're gonna, you're gonna basically thump on four parts of your body. So we start right here on our cheekbones. And this is nice for grounding. And I know for me that always feels really tender in there. I tend to hold a lot of congestion, so in the winter times is really good to do that there. Then we're gonna thump on our carotid arteries right here, and it's kind of in the spot you find your collarbone and go down about an inch and you'll find two soft indents. You thump there. Kids love to do this. Um, a lot of inner, uh, adrenaline gets stuck there. So when you tap on those points, that releases the energy up to your brain and says it's okay to be relaxed, but to be alert. And we're gonna thump on our thymus. And this is our point of joy. And it's like our master um, hormone center that really will bring a lot of joy. And I can already feel my stress melting away when I do that. And then we thump right kind of below our um, bra line on our rib cage. And this is a great metabolizer. Donna Eden calls this a metabolizer. Metabolizes experiences, thoughts, food. I think it's waking up those kidney spots. All right. Whew. So that now that you're energized, the next one I like to do, and kids love this one, is cross crawls. And what you're gonna do is just cross over your body. I'm kind of gonna exaggerate. You move your arm to your opposite knee, and I just tap. And what this does is it starts to integrate your body, uh, your top and bottom hemispheres, and your left and right hemispheres. That's telling your brain it's okay to work as a whole, and um, it's really great if you need to um, transition to something that's gonna require focused attention, um, or if everybody's feeling a little gunked up and tired, but you need to keep the momentum moving, this is a really great energizer and tells the brain to work as a whole. All right, the next one I wanna do is really good if you're kind of feeling, um, it's called crown pull. And it's great if stress is starting to rise up and you need to just kind of relax and get back in your body again. So what you do is you start right up here, you put your thumbs on your temples, your fingers in the middle of your forehead, you can even rest them on your third eye point there. And you're gonna push pretty hard and you're just gonna pull across. And what this is doing is it's taking, well, let me start back here. When you're pushing on that front, front part of your brain, your frontal lobe, you're bringing your thinking, uh, waking up the thinking part of your brain. You're saying it's okay to be present. It's okay to feel comfortable. Then I'm gonna continue to just pull across my scalp using a lot of pressure and I'm kind of resting my thumb back on that, um, that bone above my ear, and I'm pulling across. That feels good when your sinuses are congested in that back part. Pulling across the back of your neck. I like to do a nice one across my neck. And then I get to my shoulders, and I just kind of let my hands hang there for a minute. Again, I'm moving that energy in the opposite direction that with stress. With stress, your energy moves up. This, we're moving it back down into our body, and we're saying our, our bodies can be calm. And then you just kind of pull off the shoulders. This is a great one to sneak up behind your little one and just do it behind them, even your big ones. Just do a quick pull, let your hands rest on their shoulders, and then you swipe down their back. The last one I'm gonna show you today is um, the zip up. And this is a good one if you're going into an environment where there's a lot of, a, there's gonna be a lot of chaos and maybe you wanna kind of protect your energy. Um, so this just kind of, it moves up the main meridian of your body, your main energy center, and it just kind of protects your space, which can 
then reserve your energy for your own, for what you need it to do. It's not kind of leaking out into other people. So you kind of start down by your pubic bone and you just energetically just pull up to your lip. Dottie Enan says it's really amazing to lock it and throw away the key. So you're kind of zipping up that energy space, locking it, throw away the key. I like to do it like three times. My four-year-old loves this one. And then as a bonus, what I like to do is finish just to close that, to kind of seal up your energy um, and to keep, tell your body to move in an integrated way to finish with figure eights. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to kind of just move them in a figure eight. I'm going to start down low and I'm just going to figure eight all the way up my body and then up above. And that figure eight is just a really integrating message to your body that it's relaxed, it's calm, and you're safe. All right, I hope you find these energy techniques helpful, that they help you move into the present moment, that they help your energy to stay regulated, and um, then you can experience the joy and connection that you're hoping to experience. All right, take care. Bye.